Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading with me Jackie here on Romany Tarot uh, for the month of August and yeah they're pretty as I've said before many times uh, these readings will be quite quick uh, for the next few months and for the foreseeable future I would say because I'm busy working anyway we're gonna have a look and see what I've uh, what's come over for you Taurus all right and um yeah, this could be something about yourself, something you're dealing with or somebody you're dealing with. All right. So we're looking at these energies. Every sign as well will get a one reversal card. All right. So, so that I could look more into uh, what's happening, what's going on. You know, I decided to pull a, a reversal for every sign. So let's get on with your cards, Taurus. All right, so we're going to start with your first card, which is from the um, Starman Tarot. And you start with the world, all right? So some sort of completion, experience and wisdom here. All right, so something, I feel something that you have completed on. Um, for some of you, I do feel this is, this could be a sale of a property, a house, anything like that. Uh, but I do see some sort of completion and a, sort of closing something out, a chapter of some sort in your life that uh, you fully that feels fully satisfactory to you in some way. All right. So, yeah, you have the world. Your next card I pulled, which is from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. So the Oracle card, card you got was uh, egotism. All right. So when I look at this card, I feel for you, this is uh, more about you having something to show off about. It's more about you having something in general to show off, okay? So, uh, is, um, I'd say it's someone in your life being a little bit forceful as well. So, this is a card also of sort of demanding attention. So, uh, don't take it personally, Taurus. This could be you or somebody else that you're dealing with. You know, so, someone is sort of demanding maybe a lot of your attention in some way. Okay, so your next card, which is from Lucid, the uh, Tarot of Lucid Dreams, you have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so the Nine, uh, nine of Pentacles is about self-sufficiency. It's about financial independence. It's a reward, being rewarded for your efforts and hard work. Um. You know, it can be uh, about uh, financial setbacks or living beyond your means, but in this case, it is upright. So I would say being rewarded for something you've worked really hard for, all right, for your hef for your efforts in some way. Okay, so moving on, your next card, which is from the uh, giant raider, rider white, raider, up at me, from the giant raider, rider, if I'm getting the words out, the giant rider weight tarot deck that's it i've actually got it out and that card you had the uh ten of wands in reverse all right so this is actually actually dropping a burden all right so we're looking at letting down letting go of burdens you know sort of dropping a burden uh not feeling restricted in some way anymore being able to being able to see more clearly um it's like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders here in some way. All right. So I feel that you're done feeling responsible as well for past issues or make, being made to feel responsible or to blame in some way for something that's happened in the past. Uh, but apart from that, uh, this shows me that with the world card being there as well, that you really, uh, you've really sort of completed something here. As I say, property does come through very strongly here for you, Taurus, or something, home improvements. It could be anything like that. But whatever it is for you, there there is a, a completion here, something that's um, that you've been able to uh, put closure to. OK. All right. So moving on, we have um, I'm just going to pull. <clears throat> a card from the uh, Golden Girls and we're going to see what messages we have. We're going to pull one card. It's a one card read 
in, yeah, although it's one card of each, you know, I've picked a few decks. Okay, this one for that, Four of Cups. Okay, so this is, um, this is Rose, okay, from the Golden Girls. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite, um, yeah, there she is. So you've got the Four of Cups. All right, I'll leave it there for a minute. So here we see Rose uh, is taken something very personally. She's disappointed, upset. The cup she's being offered to her is, is someone trying to say sorry or seek some sort of forgiveness, all right? Uh, knowing that someone loves you as well, you know, deep down whatever happens between you and this person, there, there is a love connection there. Remember, this is not only intimate connections like a relationship, this is also relationships with family, friends, work colleagues and other areas of your life. All right. So, uh, so whatever's happened, you know, they didn't mean whatever's happened here. They didn't mean to hurt her. Uh, uh, they didn't mean to hurt her feelings. All right. So, but she's still, okay. But she still doubts where their loyalties lie. All right. So this is you doubting, uh, past disappointments, that have happened to you remember we have that ten of wands in reverse letting go of burdens and letting someone else do the worrying or feeling the uh maybe lead them to feel the guilt in some way about something because you've sort of done with it taurus you're done feeling sort of guilty about something uh let's have a look at this card all right so you're very uh I say you're very doubtful about something. You see what's uh, uh, what's being offered to you. you. You see the apology coming or some sort of um, conversation you're going to have with somebody or something. Or maybe you're avoiding a, comp a conversation with someone as, as well here. All right. So let's have a look. I'm going to uh, end the reading now with a uh, card. A little message from you for you from the whispers of love so let's just give these a shuffle so what can we tell taurus what message can we give to taurus to end the reading let's have a look someone could say something tell you something especially from spirit what would they say you know what would they be trying to tell you taurus Let's cut the cards. Okay, so your card is true love. All right, this is lovely, a beautiful card, true love in all the relationships in your life. All right, the love, uh, this love is once in a lifetime. So uh, a, a lot of compatibility here, a bit like the lovers really, but um this card is a real togetherness, so right? it's two people connecting to each other on a very deep level. All right, so that's the message for you, Taurus, whatever's happening, whatever's going on around you in your life, in your environment. This is uh, true love. This is love. This love, I should say, is once in a lifetime. Really lovely card. All right, Taurus. Okay, as I said, uh, short but sweet. <laughs> um yeah take care have a lovely august and um i'll be back soon thanks for listening bye taurus